Hello everybody, welcome to Car Question. I hope you're doing well. This week we're gonna try the new Mazda CX-9. It's a second generation, completely redesigned for 2016. New look, new mechanical components, and wait to see the interior, you're gonna be surprised. The CX-9 is for family, family on the go, family who, who has a lot of activities that need to move, family that needs connectivity, that needs also space and inside the vehicle, but Mazda never forget the driver. He needs fun to drive. So are we gonna have fun this week at Car Question? That's what we're gonna see. All right, let's look at the exterior of the new Mazda CX-9. The model that we have right now is a CX-9 Signature. So it's a fully equipped model with all the options that you can have in this one. So as you can see, the exterior is different. It's a little bit shorter than the older version, but wheelbase has been increased by a few inches. So once again, you will have enough spaces in the interior. Also, when you look at the front end, it's where probably you see more the kudo styling of Mazda. Yes, uh, this famous style where the, the, the vehicle seems to be in movement even when it's stopping. And I think it has a little bit of Volvo in it. Do you think so? Well, if you do comments, if not, why not also? So right there, look at how big it is. Yes, it's long, that nose. It's a long nose when I look at that. Uh, besides that, you've got a nice use of chrome. Look at that, look at that grill, uh, where you, it's gonna start right here, starting inside the light in some kind of way with that LED. Also, LED lights are standard on all model. So that big chrome grill with that big 3D logo, look at that, it's becoming more and more popular. When you look on the side, you can see uh, the, the 3D effect in it. Also, when you get a little bit down there, nice use once again of the chrome with the plastic. It's really well done. And I've got a question for you. Where are the fog lights? Hmm. Eee, right there in the little hole right there in the middle. Yes, those are fog lights and they're mostly useless. So the hood, big, long, and look at that also. You've got a nice line starting right here, going all the way back. Uh, to the car, when you look also at the windshield, it's big, wiper, perfect for, for winter. All the necessary equipment, camera, radar, for those safety features. And when you look at that, also you've got a sunroof and right there, shark antenna, and you're gonna finish with a little bit of spoiler right there in the rear. So on this side, let's move back. You have to move way back because this is a big vehicle. So how do you like it from the side? Not too bad, huh? It's kind of big. <laughs> so let's get up there. As you can see, there's some plastic molding around the fenders and down there, but it's, you've got a line of chrome, which is gonna probably give you more style when you look at it right there. The wheels, 20 inches wheels, and you've got a nice color, which is gonna change depending on the lighting effect. You've got Falcon ZX, uh, well, it's CT50, yes, CT50 AS, and you will have also a trend wear, which is not gonna be that impressive, 300 sweat wear, so it will probably melt over time. 235, 50, 20, so those are big tires. Brake seems a little bit little when you look at that through the wheel. So nice material also in the fender, nice and sonorization. And as you will see, this vehicle is so quiet on the road. Mirror a little bit uh, toward, once again, the, 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 the window, it's not right there on the corner. They, they bring it closer uh, to uh, the passenger or the driver. You've got also a nice light bar right there, acting as a blinker. Nice line of chrome all the way to the back. And you can also see a line, uh, a kind of mix of two lines starting right there. It's not really easy to show it to you on camera, guys, but it's nice. So let's look at the rear. The rear is really unique when you look at that. Boop, I have to move way back. I think there's something in my, 
in my legs right now. So as you can see, uh, it's, it's looking good. And I love the style that I have right now with the mask of that nice line of chrome. And look at that once again, the work that they did with the lights, those LED lights, kind of uh, nice, nice, nicely done in the body. So nice visibility from uh, the rear window, big wipers, tinted windows. And, and as you can see also this border with some little butt right here. Uh, for the trunk, nice line of chrome going all the way up to here. You've got the logo, the Sky Active Technology logo right there, and also a big Mazda logo, and you've got also the 6 9 inscription with the whole wheel drive system. So the flickers down there, and look at that, the parking sensor are kind of discreet. I love how they've done it. You've got also chrome once again, and dual exhaust pipe right there for that 2.5 turbo engine. So there you go, let's turn on the light. There you go, I'll start and stop twice. And why not put a blinker on? So first thing that you're gonna see is right there in the corner, and you've got no welcome light by the way, and I'm kind of sad about that when you open the door. And if you want to lock or unlock the door, uh, even if you put your hands there, you're still gonna have to press on the button so it will unlock the door. So right there, the lighting start right there on the side. And as you can see, that nice LED also down there for the blinker. It's quite unique for the signature model that we have right now for the lighting. And when you look at that, it's gonna give also a nice lighting effect. But how about the fog lights? So small and so useless. As you can see, you can, oh, you can see a little bit down there, but hey, it's kind of too low. So let's move to the back. for the back. Nice, once again, nice use of LED, typical as a signature in the rear when you go with GT models sometimes. And with the signature, you've got those one, and those are really nice. So, what do you think about the styling of the new Mazda CX-9? Do you love it? If you do well, feel free to comment in the section down there below. And if you don't, tell us why also.